Hello crypto community and welcome back to crypto ready if you want to be ready for crypto then you are in the right place today we have got many huge updates for the XDC community today we're going to be talking about some massive news from the USA on crypto how high can the XDC's price go XDC being recognized worldwide and we are going to be digging a little deeper into the XDC, SBI and R3 partnership. So I hope you will watch to the end. We shall continue right after this intro. So looking at coin market cap, right now everything is in the red as it has been for the last few days because of some things we've had from the USA, the CPI data, the interest rates, all that stuff. So nothing interesting is happening here. Bitcoin is close to 65k, Ethereum at 3.5k. So everything is in the red right now. And looking at the XDC chart, we've had quite a dump going from 3.5 to almost 3.4 cents. So right now, guys, everything follows Bitcoin. Everything is tied to the Bitcoin price. I think we are going to be detached in the longer term when utility finally has that bull run because that time is coming near once we detach from bitcoin i think bitcoin will not be at number one no more because we've got so much better utility coins out there like xdc that are potentially gonna take over and just before we continue guys i want to mention my second channel crypto utility i'm only going to be talking utility at least two to three times a week on there yesterday we put on a video for xlm stellar it's doing very well I want to thank everybody for coming and subscribing to the channel and watching my videos. Don't miss out guys because I'm only going to be covering utility. Looking at the latest news on crypto, a leak reveals Joe Biden could be planning a crypto coup amid Bitcoin, Ethereum and XRP price swings. So now as Trump and Biden hurtle towards a Bitcoin showdown, a potentially game changing bill with a surprise crypto provision has been passed by the senate committee which could be the most important usa crypto policy ever if it becomes law and this crypto provision could force crypto companies to collect more information about its users or face being caught up in sanctions now guys we already know that kyc is mandatory with any crypto exchange right now and i honestly believe hardware wallets like ledger decent all of these guys are going to be using KYC pretty soon because everything will be on the blockchain. If we're moving to a cashless system, then everything will be tracked and traced. And I believe this is good news for crypto overall. I mean, KYC, more stringent measures for exchanges, wallets are incoming. They are going to be putting more difficult measures for everybody because they want to know who's holding exactly what. And Biden and Trump right now are fighting over who's going to be the savior for crypto. But they both know that crypto is here to stay. And crypto is going to win the day because it's the heart of the future financial system. And quickly talking about how we are going to get that mass adoption of crypto. It's very clear. Regulatory clarity will foster innovation, drive mass adoption to cryptocurrency markets. It's very clear that regulation is going to bring mass adoption to crypto. A lot of people are holding back right now because a lot of people have lost money. A lot of people are waiting for regulations because they want to feel a bit safer. Right now, the early adopters, the early investors like us are going to make the most money because we are early. Once regulations come in, it will be a bit too late for people who want to make generational wealth. That's when people are going to be foremowing in to utility. So pay attention, guys, because everything is coming faster than usual. Looking at a tweet from Dragon Slayer, a $1 XDZ is a $15 billion market cap. A $5 XDZ is a $75 billion market cap. A $10 XDZ is $150 billion market cap. Now, guys, I honestly believe even $10 is definitely a joke. XDC is solving a real world problem. It's already integrated with some of the biggest nations in the world. XDC will easily reach a trillion dollar market cap because like this guy says here, it's inevitable. And focusing on the fundamentals, what 
XDC is doing for the world, solving the trade finance problem, RWA problem, and so many others that are coming to the forefront right now, it's easily a multi-trillion dollar asset class. And XDC, I honestly believe it's going to overtake Bitcoin's flaws, Ethereum's flaws, because XDC is well ready to take over from where they fail. Because as you already know, we cover this regularly. Bitcoin has zero utility except for speculation. It is a good store of value, but you can't actually use it for real world applications. This is the advantage XDC has over Bitcoin and Ethereum. So guys, be prepared. A easy three digit plus price for XDC is achievable. So guys, be prepared because once we have a crypto positive president in the USA, once everything gets put into place with the regulations, I think the prices for utility cryptos like XDC are going to be hard to catch. Looking at a tweet from Cyprus, Mr. Sunil Senapati, CEO of XDC Trade Network, showcasing XDC's innovative services to facilitate cross-border paperless trade. Probably nothing. Just the United Nations. No big deal, right? No, guys. It is a big deal. It is a mind-blowing deal. Listen to this part. So this open meeting, guys, already took place earlier in June. And this was talking about the paperless trade, right? And so many big players are already involved. United Nations Economic, Social Commission for Asia and Pacific, the international organizations, including the Islamic Development Bank, Commonwealth Secretariat, World Economic Forum, the International Chamber of Commerce, and many more who are actively supporting cross-border paperless trade now guys this is something that has to happen they are moving to a paperless digital economy on the blockchain this is what they need to move forward there is no other way forward this is what's going to bring them on that level playing field so they can easily move between countries with trade and value seamlessly for zero cost and which blockchain allows them to do that xdc xdc 2.0 coming out shortly it's gonna help them to do it the way they want to fast cheap secure and very very efficient this is the future guys xdc is already part of the future as you can see here the whole world is working to make things happen and xdc is once again at the heart of this transformation so make sure you stay in the middle of this transformation because it's gonna happen very very quickly Moving on to a tweet from Tokenizer, we're now going to dig a little deeper with SBI, XDC and R3. It's official. The SBI, XDC and R3 proof of concepts are a success. Initially, the XDC and SBI Japan's joint venture was formed in December 2023 and the technology includes XDC Network, R3 Quarter, Trade Finex and Impel. Let's dive down the rabbit hole. When looking more technically, the official joint venture was actually between SBI and TradeFinex. As we know, TradeFinex is one of the trademark applications on XDC network. TradeFinex works as an interoperable trade finance platform on XDC. The ownership of this venture is split 60-40 between SBI and TradeFinex respectively. But if we really look back all the way, the initial connection between XDC and SBI began before this joint venture was formed. As we heard last year in May, XDC would be added into the SBI VC Trades crypto exchange. In other words, within one year, XDC had went from being added to SBI's crypto subsidiary to forming an official joint venture and a successful POC with SBI. It's clearly mind-blowing how fast XDC is moving. But moving on to the official utility of the POC, let's look at how it operated internally. As we can see in this example, there are three specific layers that are used, XDC Network, Impel Bridge, and R3 Quarter. So as you can see on this illustration, guys, XDC is literally everywhere. And the main goal of this is to test interoperability using the Quarter Bridge on Impel. And looking forward, guys, the next steps for collaboration is to focus on ensuring minimal volatility to ensure stable settlements across companies. These efforts will include solutions from SBI VC Trade and SBI Liquidity Markets. Overall, this is easily one of the biggest advancements for the XDC ecosystem as a whole. Over the years, we've seen various connections of XDC into the enterprise giant R3 quarter. But this POC has accelerated the two working relations between Impel and R3. 
this isn't just a bridge between a private R3 quota and a public exclusive network. It's a bridge between our legacy financial infrastructure, fiat, into the age of the internet of value. So guys, it's very clear from this thread how significant this successful POC is, right? SBI, the monster in Japan, R3, the monster of the world, and XDC slowly but surely taking over the damn globe being known surely in the end as a household name and as you heard there it's an amazing partnership guys this is just the beginning this was just announced a few days ago that this poc worked very well it's a matter of time where everyone else in the world follows the lead r3 is going to be the one which is going to bring more institutions it's connecting the old to the new xdc on one side you've got the biggest financial institutions on the other side Impel is involved, Trade Phoenix is involved, guys. All the big boys are coming together to solve a common problem on the blockchain. XTC again has been selected for this solution because it can solve their problems. So why do you think XTC is going to remain at three and a half cents? Obviously not. This is the amazing buying opportunity stage right now. You don't want to miss it, guys. I'm not a financial advisor. It's what I am doing, investing my money into the red right now because this is where you can make generational wealth this is a great opportunity to add more xdc to your bags because once that switch is flipped xdc is gonna easily be two to three digits